Charlotte a little frigid out there this morning as well. Meteorologist Ashley Brown joins us with a look at the forecast. Make these clouds go away. I will. <laughs> just snap my fingers right. and there they go. Nice and easy. All right, so I can't get rid of the clouds. But what I can provide you with is a forecast that shows that we're warming up. A spring-like warm-up. But with spring warm-up, that means a little spring rain, right? So we're going to deal with that as well. All right, so this forecast today, I know we started your day with clouds and even a mist out there. Now we're just kind of stuck with the cloud cover, although the cloud cover has been thinning. It's still with us out there. All right, so clouds and temperatures coming in at about 43 degrees for Indianapolis, about 42 for Fisher. So 40 degree temperatures here. It's chilly. We should be in the mid 50s. It's March after all, but hey, not at all right now. We struggle today. You know, part of the reason that we're struggling with our temperatures is that we don't have that energy. We don't have the sunshine. We need it back. I'm not seeing much of that in this forecast for the next 24 to 48 hours. See, tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures fall from the 40s uh, down into the 30s. We'll spend much of our night with temperatures in the 30s, and it will feel colder when you factor in that wind. As we take you hour by hour with Futurecast, our forecasting model kind of just taking a look at the cloud cover here, cloud cover thickening in the overnight hours. But tonight, we're dry. I'm not concerned at all about rain tonight. Tomorrow, we'll start your day with clouds and Temperatures in the upper 30s, and hour by hour, we start to warm up until this disturbance moves in. Now, once it moves in, it's going to bring some scattered rain showers. Terre Haute into Bloomington. You're first to see the rain. This rain moves in, sliding across the area. Just rain initially, but there is a chance of a few isolated thunderstorms, mainly off to the south. That thunderstorm threat, we're not talking severe weather here. Just a few rumbles of thunder. You'll see a few lightning strikes in the sky, but this system moves through through your Tuesday night, and by Wednesday, we're back to silly dealing with dry air. So tomorrow's forecast, we'll start your day with clouds, temperatures in the 30s. By noon, we're in the 40s, there at 44 degrees. Temperatures peak at about 54. I am expecting a much warmer day, which is great news, right? But I'm also expecting the rain to move in uh, just in time for that evening commute if you're uh, out and about it at work tomorrow. Now, Wednesday is a day that you can really get outside. You know, maybe you've been stuck inside with the kids for several days. You want to get outside a little on a warmer day. Well, Wednesday is that day. 60 degrees is looking like a great choice for pick of the week. Still trying to narrow down that decision. 60, partly sunny and dry on Wednesday. So it's a good outdoor day. Once we get to Thursday, things begin to change again. See, another system slides in, bringing rain back on Thursday night. Thursday morning, just clouds. Thursday afternoon, mostly cloudy and breezy as winds begin to pick up ahead of our next system. And there goes the rain moving in on Wednesday night. That rain stays with us into Friday as well. So rain on Tuesday, rain on Thursday, and our wettest day, Fridays, we'll deal with wet weather and the possibility of some flooding concerns there. By Saturday, still tracking some scattered showers with temperatures that fall off just a little bit. Your chat may heating and cooling eight-day forecast. Here's how they fall. So temperatures really just dropping off down to the low 60s. These numbers, for the most part, above average. We get back to that normal range by tomorrow. But keep the rain gear handy as we'll continue to track showers uh, daily, pretty much this week with the exception of Wednesday, which is my pick of the week. Back to you.